Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Touch of Healing. I'm Pastor Daniel. And as usual, I just want to share a word from God and then pray the prayer of faith. The Bible says the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And today I want to talk about something that I think is actually special. I want to talk about deliverance from poverty. Actually, I'm talking about gospel to the poor. Gospel to the poor. You know, uh, for many Christians, they think prosperity is a foreign gospel. Uh, many think Christians are supposed to be poor and just get by through life. And this has been perpetuated over the years so that even today when the message of prosperity is being taught, some people just, you know, roll their eyes and feel like you're talking about materialism. But it's very difficult to understand why people would believe that a God that is love would want his children to be broke, busted and disgusted. And if we look at the scriptures, we discover that that's not God's will at all. God wants everyone to prosper. And let's go ahead. I'm going to read uh, from the book of Luke, chapter number 4. I'm reading verse 18 and 19, and I'm talking about the gospel to the poor. So if you're watching this and you're going through challenges, especially in your finances, I want to get ready. The anointing of God is upon me. And in this next few minutes, as we look at the word and we pray the prayer of faith, you're going to be released to an abundance in the name of Jesus. In short, God said to us that this season is a season of abundance of provision. So let's look at the scriptures. I'm reading from the King James Version, uh, Luke chapter number 4, verse 18. Here Jesus was speaking after he had come out from uh, a time of fasting, and he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives. The re and recovery of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. In short, many people believe this was Jesus' major message around where he went around preaching the gospel. The Bible says he went from village to village preaching the gospel, and this seemed like one of his major places where he read from the book of Isaiah, telling them that he's the Messiah, the anointed one. And then he tells us what the anointing on him would do. He said to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Which means that he, he was anointed to bring deliverance to those who are poor, as well as those who are bruised or oppressed or in captivity, and to declare that the year, the season, the time of God's favor is here. Now this is why he was anointed and this is the same reason he has anointed me and the rest of the church to preach. So the first thing he mentioned among everything else is the gospel to the poor. In short, he makes us see that poverty is an oppression of the devil and that the anointing, the spirit of God comes to release those who are oppressed in lack, in poverty, so that they can become rich. In short, the Bible tells us in uh, uh, Proverbs 10 verse 22, he said, The blessing of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow. Then in St. John chapter number 10, the Bible tells us, Jesus speaking said, The thief cometh not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy, but I am come that they might have life, and have life in abundance. The Amplified says, until it's full and it overflows. So Jesus is very clear that poverty is not of God. In short, it's one of the oppressions that the anointing breaks people from. So if you're poor, you have hardly have your needs met, you can't pay your bills, you can't take care of your children, uh, you, you know, there are things you need to do and there's not enough finances to do it. I want you to know that the anointing is upon me and this program today to bring deliverance to you, to bring prosperity to you. I know some people say, well, stop preaching prosperity. There's nothing like prosperity in the Bible. You just have to work hard and make money. That is not true. The Bible says it's the anointing of the Lord, the blessing of the Lord makes rich. If you read through the scriptures, you discover that there is a natural way to make money all right, but there is also a supernatural way to make money. God wants people to prosper. He says his blessing makes rich. And there are many examples. Solomon became the richest man. The Bible said God made Solomon rich. God made Abraham rich. And there are many other people like that, Joseph, uh, uh, Jacob. You find all of them in the scriptures, how they got rich supernaturally by the help of God. And God hasn't changed. So if you would believe in the Lord and receive his grace, like we're going to be praying. And of course, there might be certain instructions he may give to individuals uh, to help them make, you know, get wealth and get wealth transferred. But it takes the power of God 
to receive supernatural wealth. And that's what God is saying that I should minister to you today. So many times people are working so hard, they're struggling so hard, but things don't seem to work out. I want to say it actually, sometimes the poorest people are the hardest workers. They are the ones on the bottom of the ladder, they put, they put in a lot of hours and they still don't seem to make it. Why some of the richest people put in less hours? Now they may have put in a lot of hours at the beginning, but wealth is not always directly proportionate to the amount of work that you do. The Bible tells us in Deuteronomy 8, 18, it said God gives us the power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant. So there is an anointing, there is a power that produces wealth. And that's what I want to pray for you today. And if you're watching this and you're struggling financially, or maybe you're doing well, you're doing average, the kind of wealth we're talking about is the type that overflows and becomes a blessing to others. I want you to get ready as we pray. The anointing, the power to get wealth is going to come through the screen and it's going to come to you. Your business will change, your job will change, and God will promote you to a new level of, of operation. You have wisdom, ability, power to get wealth. And one of the ways God does it actually is to give you wisdom. Wisdom. If you read the book of Proverbs, it says wisdom will make you rich. And so the anointing will open your eyes to see what you ought to do, what you should not be doing, so that you can increase in your finances. Now I just want to make this short as usual, so there's so much more to say. But I want you to stretch your hands. The anointing will open your eyes and help you even see the things that you have not seen before as you read the scriptures, so that you can believe it, you can operate in it, and your finances will change. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for everyone watching. I come against the spirit of fear, the spirit of 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 unbelief, the spirit that comes against prosperity. I rebuke you. Take your hand off their hand, my. Take your hand off their bodies in the name of Jesus. I declare the anointing that make it rich and has no sorrow. Let it come from you, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I say let the eyes of your understanding be opened in the name of Jesus. That from this day you go from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from grace to grace. I declare prosperity, supernatural provisions of God upon you, your family, your business, your job, your ministry, and everything you put your hand to do prospers in Jesus' name. Amen. Begin to rejoice. Supernatural help is here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you have done. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Again, my name is Daniel, and I would like to hear from you. Uh, uh, text us, write us, email us, share with us your testimonies. And this year, this season, God has special something special for you. You are going to move from glory to glory, from strength to strength, in Jesus' name. Again, until I see you in another edition of Touch of Healing, don't forget to subscribe if you already have not done so. And share today's message to other people. Let them expect supernatural provisions in Jesus' name. I'll see you next time.